What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Rider of Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have the Aero Classics August 2023 releases for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. So we got August on deck here for Aero Classics. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit late here, but unfortunately due to various reasons, um, it's been tough lately to get uh, everything out where I would like it to be, obviously, but we're certainly trying to make up for lost time here, and that's going to be with these Aero Classics releases. So let's go ahead and check them out, even though we're a little bit late to the show, but I'm sure we have some good ones here. So let's go ahead and get started here. Starting with the Aero Western Arrivals here in 1 200. I apologize. Uh, this has been, it's been doing this deal where it's not showing the pictures on the um, Easy Toys um, newsletter. But nevertheless, we have the Malaysia Singapore Airlines Fairchild F27 9 Victor Bravo Charlie Tango. And uh, I'm sure this is a good looking aircraft once it loads here. So looking pretty good there. That is a good looker there in 1 200 scale, especially for anybody that's looking for it. So looking good on that aircraft and that should be a very good one there for Aero Classics. And starting here with our 1 to 4 inch scale lineup, here we go with the JetBlue New Mint Livery Airbus A321, November 982, Juliet Bravo. Now, NG has this as a future release, or they've already announced it, one or the other, maybe both. Uh, certainly nice to see Aero Classic 6 take and uh, Aero Classic 6. Uh, I don't know what the proper pronunciation for that would be. Anyways, um, it is really cool to see that they did a pretty good job on it. So that looks really good. Good job there by Aero Classics and a really good choice there on the JetBlue uh, Mint. Really, really good plane. Certainly very excited to get that one and uh, add it into the collection. Complimenting that, we finally get pictures back for the Scoot Airbus E321 Neo, 9 Victor, November Charlie Delta. Uh, yet another really uh, nice release, and it is really cool to see how they have this lassoed on the pictures. It also could be that I'm so late that they may have came back here and adjusted it. I'm not completely sure, but certainly cool to see the Scoot 321 Neo. I think that's yet another really good choice, and uh, really nice to see that they're uh, getting after it there with all these various Airbuses. So, looking good on that one. And we're also going to get uh, Charlie Charlie here. So I believe this is the exact same aircraft, just a different prefix. So cool to see two of them. It is a pretty popular plane after all in the Europe. So in uh, the Europe region, I should say, not just the Europe. But uh, nevertheless, looking good on that one. Okay, a Canada 3000 Airbus A320 Charlie Gulf Victor X-Ray Foxtrot. Quite a unique aircraft right here. Um, I don't know too much about Canada 3000. I'm sure they were a nice popular carrier there. So that's certainly very cool to see. A uh, really good custom aircraft prospect if you're looking to do a custom. Pretty blank fuselage there. So looking good on that aircraft. Certainly a very interesting one at that. Looking good. Canada 3000 Airbus A320 Charlie Gulf X-Ray Bravo. Bravo in the Monarch car colors. So very interesting to see that one. Uh, looks really cool with the uh, stripes there. I think that looks really nice. So certainly glad to see that there for Aero Classics and that's looking fantastic. In a Monarch Airbus E320 to go with it, Gulf Mike Oscar November Yankee. So really cool to see how the transition goes there, how Canada 3000, I'm assuming took it over from Monarch, but certainly very interesting there at the very least to see those three paired together. So now we're getting the full trifecta effect if you're interested in either airline or just the whole set in general. So very cool to see that and that's certainly uh, very unique and nice to say the least. And then we have the um, Simply Decane, uh, hopefully I said that right, Airbus A320, Victor Romeo Alpha Delta Uniform in the pre-Kingfisher livery. Uh, really unique plane here. I don't know too much about this airline period, but I do uh, see some really unique elements here. Like the uh, billboard title, certainly um, very unique how it goes from the um, small to the big, and then the fonts completely changing, and then the tail too. Uh, certainly they got their own twist on that. So looking good on that one right there to say the least. Philippine Airlines, doubles DC-1030, Romeo Papia, uh, what are we doing? Romo, <laughs> Romeo Papa, Charlie 2114. Uh, it certainly looks really good though. Their DC-10 molds a solid effort. So certainly very glad to see that one there. And that's looking really nice right there to say the very least. Very nice. Philippine Airlines, KLM, a doubles DC-1030, Papa Hotel, Delta Tango, India. Yet another really cool aircraft right here to see. Uh, let's go ahead and get a picture so if you can visualize what this looks like. Um, oh, it's the same one. Uh, the difference is the prefix is completely different. So looking good right here. That's looking absolutely fantastic. And we absolutely love to see the effort. 
And that is it for the Aero Classic releases. Nice, small, consolidated, signed, sealed, delivered. So, yeah, JetBlue is really great. And then we have plenty of uh, various foreign and international offerings. I think this three set was also a really cool part of this. I didn't even know that really existed. So, really cool to learn about that here in this release, along with the other various elements in the Philippine DC-10 that I also think are nice components. So, ultimately, a really great release. I'll be eager to hear what each and every one of you think about this. Certainly very cool to see Aero Classic getting after it here. And I think this will really prove powerful for not only them, but also all collectors interested um certainly some really cool ones in here this this airline's also pretty unique so i'm uh, very excited for the next round of aero classic releases as well they kind of kind of similar to gemini jets they'll have one really u.s set release and then they'll kind of branch off and do some different um international carriers kind of break it up a little bit so uh this one was certainly more of a breakup but i'm sure september will bounce back into our typical groove but the cool part is they always use usually uh, get us at least one or two uh u.s aircraft this time it turns out to be one that's going to be done by other manufacturers but it's still a good plane. They did a good job on it. So we can't complain with that effort. So feel free to let me know in the comment section what you think about this aircraft. But with all that being said, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed your aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Just press us deeply love and love you do. My name is Treasure of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon as Treasure of Aviation is signing off.